Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and welcome to show and tell number 153. So if you guys remember last week, I told you I was going to share with you my scrapbook.com haul and my Hobby Lobby haul. I did postpone putting those up because I was able to find yarn at a different Hobby Lobby. I went to my stepson's wedding over the weekend and so we were back in Columbia and I was able to actually find some stuff there. So I wanted to add that to the end of the video. So that will now be Saturday's video. We're going to roll from there. It's been, it's been, it's been an exciting week. I mean, not like anything really happened, but lots of little things have been occurring, you know, catching up on appointments and chasing down paperwork and trying to get things done and stuff. I'm still working to get reimbursed for part of the air conditioner. So that's a thing. Um, we've got Banner's got his six month vet appointment coming up next week. So uh, it's on Friday. So I probably won't update you guys. I think he's, I mean, obviously he's perfectly healthy. Look at like how he's growing like a little furry little weed. Um, we will have cat pictures at the end of this video. I did forget last week. So We'll have new kitten pictures at the end of the video, so stay t stay tuned to the end to get some updates on what they look like and the cute things they've been doing. We did have catnip night last night, so they just laid in the floor and then Pippin licks it all up and then whatever's left, I just scoop up and stick them one of their, I've got old socks that I stuffed. <sighs> I went to the grocery store that's like a farmer's market and they have Republic tea there and I got a blueberry lavender tea that's meant to be an ice brew tea. So that's what I'm drinking today. It's an herbal iced tea. Nama, 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 nama. So I'm working on another Mexican Mentelito shawl. I've only got a couple more rows left. I think I've got 20 grams of the yarn left. So... I will probably actually have that finished tonight and hopefully we'll have that blocked and ready to share with you guys next week. I haven't really touched anything else except for what you're going to see here. Um, feels like I should have another update for you guys, but I really like... So it's going to end up being a real short video, you guys. <laughs> I got stuff to share, but I ain't got that much to share. Anyway, so, blocks again. So, we have granny squares. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight greeny squares. So I think that takes this up to 70 squares now. That's yeah, three. So maybe it's it's 69 squares, I think. <laughs> um then we also have one, two, three, four, five, six of the corner to corner squares. And once again, these are just worsted weight leftovers and scraps using a size I crochet hook. And it's a 10 round granny square and a 10, 10 row corner to corner square. I, I didn't plan that these were going to be 10s. I just rolled with it. I'm still thinking in October, November, I'm just going to start joining blankets and going. I don't want to do December because I would like to do an advent calendar again and actually like do the advent calendar this time. Um, I have some projects in the wings that I'm really looking forward to. I really want to get back to working with the durable yarn that I was sent a couple months ago because I have a shawl pattern I really want to use the cotton cake for. And also I have another pattern that I'm really wanting to use the Hobie cake for. So I do have some things on deck I want to do. I also am still working on slowly blocking all of the shawls that I did earlier this spring. 
but I do have one big finished object and I'm very excited about this. So I think this is called the Treasure Hunt Shawl. I will leave it linked in the description box down below. I believe it is also a paid pattern. I did get it free. Um, they were offering it on sale for free. <clears throat> I actually unfolded it directly to the right side. So this is on the bias, crocheted on the bias, using a set of yarn that was Knitpicks Valentine's collection last year or not last year 2020 maybe so this first section is pink and green then we go green and blue blue and purple and then purple and gray it is super duper long I way over blocked the length on this I probably should have gone a little bit wider on the block and but I took it to the full width of my blocking mat so I guess I really couldn't have done too much more, but over the next couple times I wear it, it will kind of shrink up a little bit, but I did very much hard block this. And this is now my second like jumbo long wrap shawl. So kind of enjoying that. Um, I mentioned in my crafty chat five where I was talking about my travel bag, that this was a project that like I would still consider to be a travel project because you just have a two row lace repeat for these panels and these are pretty large panels. And then try to not get the shawl to knock my drink cup over. You have this transition section here and that incorporates some post stitches, post stitch eye to create just a little bit of texture there. So, uh, and you can see where it's, it's kind of hard to show. When it's this long, it's kind of hard to show that it is actually on the bias. And I did block it so those tips would show real big. So uh, straight edge to straight edge. Mine's about six feet long. And the points add another probably six inches to that. So six, six and a half feet long, I'd say. Um, we're hitting, the points are hitting about an inch and a half, two inches above my ankles, maybe. When I just wrap it over my shoulders like that. But I was actually thinking this would be really cute. Kind of more like that, where we're wrapping around a, an arm like that. So, and you get your choice of what is fronted up there by your face but this is really nice so this was the sock lab shore foot from knit picks uh, it's been sold out for a while now but it was their valentine's collection and the names are like cupid sweetheart actually let me go i've got one of the scrap balls over there I told you guys once again, I was working on building my scraps to do another DIY advent calendar. So I do have a bag. Oh, my scraps. So this is the pink one. I've got the wrong tag in here, but it's a uh, sure foot sock yarn fingering weight. 434 yards, 100 grams. This is 40% superwash wool, 40% uh, super kid mohair, 20% polyamide. It does say I can machine wash, tumble dry low. I will never machine wash this. It'll only be hand washed. And I don't see any mark as to what year this was made. So I think this was 2020. I'm not entirely sure. I did. I had this caked up back at the very beginning of the year. But Normally I drop my scraps into my bin, but I have a number of, I know they're at least 20 grams and that includes some of like my Southern Skeins minis from last year with the tea dottles kits. Um, this is a mini that came with something and I'm not quite sure what it is. This is a hand dyed from that big shawl that I finished last year that was done like this with two yarns held together. 
This is leftover from doing Erica over at the Lopsided Crafters Express Yourself Shawl. I did a hat out of this one. So like this is this is all recent sock weight yarns that I've gotten here, or they've been recent fairly recently acquired over the course of yeah, like doing subscription boxes, placing orders, things like that. But with all sorts of wild and crazy colors down in there. But yeah, so that's what I used for this. I had the whole set. So I just used the set for this. I've been on the, the look for another uh, Marl two at a time fingering weight project. You easily could do this though with a sport weight yarn. The pattern calls for casting on 50 stitches. So I did mine extra wide and did mine at 70. But this would be so adorable if you drop the stitches just a little bit. Um, do like say 40 stitches because I think it's uh, groups of 10 to do the, the lace pattern and the transition. But if you drop this back to say like 40, maybe 30, 30 40 stitches and do a couple fewer of the lace panel rows, this would be super cute as a scarf. So I might be revisiting this. I'm not sure yet, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm very glad I did break into five whole skeins of fingering weight yarn. It did use up all of the green, blue, and purple. I actually, on the purple and blue section, have one fewer eyelet rows because I ran out of yarn. I ran out of the blue yarn. So that one's only got... I don't remember how many it is, but it's got actually got one fewer eyelet rows on it. But block just needs to have the ends woven in and it is ready to wear. It is very light and flowy and soft. So I'm very, very grateful that turned out the way it did. And I was able to use those yarns because they're so they were so pretty as a full collection. Um other than that, I really don't have anything else to share with you guys. I will leave a link for the pattern in the description box down below. But once again, I mean, it's a whole lot of blocks. I was in the car a lot of the weekend or I was visiting family. We did we did stop and go see my mother-in-law for a while. We had lunch with her before the wedding. So it was just a very small wedding, very informal wedding. So, But I, I crocheted while we were visiting with her after lunch. I crocheted on the way down there, crocheted on the way home. So I had like five hours of travel crochet over the weekend. And it seems like Friday got eaten up with something. So yeah, this was all that got done for the last week. It's a lot. Like looking at what's in here, like it's a lot. I understand it's a lot, but at the same time, it's like, oh man. <laughs> I wish I had more to show. Once again, I wish I had more to show because I feel silly just showing you all the blocks. But at the same time, like if I didn't show you the blocks, literally there would be nothing to show like what I'm working on other than blocks. So anyway, hopefully for the rest of the week, it's Wednesday as I'm filming this, I will have some time to finish up my Mexican Mantaleta and maybe consider starting. I've got one sweater pattern I'm planning on using some of the Lion Brand Kobu for. I did just find the pattern that I want to use for that. And I am looking at my options for what to do with the fingering weight sweater that I will be talking about that yarn on Saturday. So take care of you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful, fantastic week. Stay tuned for the kitten pictures. I love you and I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys. I forgot to grab my clicker. We'll make this a little more awkward.
What does mommy have, Pippin? What does mommy have? Yeah? Are we getting two treats? Yes, we are.